Hi guys! Today I'm going to be using the acrylic swipe technique to create some abstract fire. To get started, I'm laying down my various base colours, starting with crimson. Each of these paints is mixed 4 parts paint to 8 parts floetrol to 1 part water plus 1 drop of silicone. All my paint colors, ratios and supplies will be listed in the description box so you can find all the details there. This is ivory black. It's mixed one part paint to two parts floetrol and it doesn't contain any silicone. This paint is a thicker consistency than the paint already on the canvas. I thought I'd try a thicker paint at the top because I don't want big cells forming at the top of the fire. So I thought using some thicker paint may help keep the cells on the smaller side. I'm tilting the canvas a bit to help spread the paint around and fill some of the gaps between the paint. Okay, now we're ready to get started with the swipe. The color that I'm going to swipe with is ivory black, which is mixed 4 parts paint to 8 parts floetrol to 3 parts water. This black is a thinner consistency than the paint already on the canvas and it doesn't contain any silicone. I'm using a palette knife to swipe the black over the other colors. And I'm just doing it in a wavy shape to create the look of flames. So I like the bottom of the painting, but I feel like the top of the fire needs a little bit of work. The cells still got bigger than I was hoping, even though I used a bit of thicker paint at the top. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and tweak the painting a little bit. The painting has dried. It's already been about a week and now I'm just going to use ivory black to paint around the tip of the flames 
to get the flames to look a little bit more like what I was aiming for. <laughs> and I'm just going to work with the existing shapes and patterns that we've got going on here and just try to enhance them a little bit to and just try to enhance them a little bit. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.